What is up, YouTube? This is formerly Toker90704, gratefully coming at you. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've been on this platform. It's been almost 10 years since I've made any videos. Um, lots have happened in my life, you know, that we'll not get into here. But uh, I figured that I would uh, make a new video and start creating new content for you guys. Uh, you know, when and where I'm able to. And I think the topic for today's video is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I finally now have the peace and time and solace to make this video. I'm going to do a couple frequently asked questions about the Grateful Dead family. Or Rainbow family or the original family. It's all family at the end. But for all intents and purposes, we're just going to call it the Grateful Dead family. To keep, to keep the video uh, structured and in line. So I've got a couple frequently asked questions here that I've written out. And this is questions that I personally have been asked. Or questions that you'll see a lot online. Or maybe even just questions that are, you know, like humming around the collective conscious. And I thought I would offer my perspective and my insight onto some of these questions. And, you, and leave it at that. So... There's a couple right here, a couple really good ones, and we're going to start it off. Uh, is the Grateful Dead family a cult? <laughs> no, and yes, but mainly no. The majority of the Grateful Dead family is made up of people that are fanatics over the music. That, that's what it really comes down to. It's, it's about the music, uh, celebrating the music of Jerry Garcia. Um, there might be a small sect of the family, you know, I mean, number wise, it might seem like a lot, but really like percentage wise, I, uh, I think it's a pretty small percentile of people who actually, you know, deify the Grateful Dead and deify Jerry Garcia and view him as God. Uh, I, for one, personally, I've never understood that mentality. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Jerry Garcia's music and his ability to play the guitar. I think it's awe-inspiring. I think it's wonderful. I think he's, honest to God, one of the best musicians who has ever graced the planet and shared his musical ability with, with the masses, you know? But a god, he was not. And I don't think Jerry even really liked that. No, Nobody likes having that pressure put on them, least least of all uh, a, a humble musician you know um because that was the thing jerry was really humble um and and he just he just wanted to play his guitar he didn't want people fucking worshiping him he didn't want people placing all this fucking pressure on him or whatnot he just wanted to play music you know and, and god bless him for that uh so no grateful dead family not a cult there might be a small section of people who who who, who think of it like that but no, majority of the fans are just that. Fans of the music, and, and they want to partake in, in the fun of it all. Uh, question number two, is the Grateful Dead family a gang? No. Personally, I don't fucking think it's a gang. Uh, the FBI might beg to differ with that opinion. Um, but for the most part, no, I don't think it's a gang. You know, nobody's getting jumped into the Grateful Dead family. The Grateful Dead family isn't out there, you know, enforcing fucking gangland politics, doing drive-by shootings, selling crack, you know, like all that, all that gangland stuff. That's, that's not really the MO of the family. Uh, now, granted, there might be some people that, you know, uh, want to throw on like a Grateful Dead t-shirt and fucking enforce street politics and you know there might be some people in the family that are a little bit more rough around the edges than others you know because it's not just a cut and dry mold when it comes to the individuals that make up the family or the or, or the people that goes to shows you know there it's a very it's a very wide range of people you know it's not just one type uh, you know there's there's people that i guess you would call hippies there's other people, you know, like, there's, there's bikers that go there, there's, you know, street kids, there's, there's a lot of different variety of people that all make up the, the amalgamation of the family, but for the most part, I believe that 90% of the people there are just 
happy, funny, colorful, hippie type of people, you know, who, again, want to go listen to some really good music and have some fun, you know, and, and, and partake in the experience. Um, yeah. All right, so this, this next question right here, this is, this is one that, that tickles me really in a funny place. Um, and you'll see this question online a lot. Like, I, this, this question I've probably seen the most online out of all of them. And that is, is thumbprinting an initiation into the family? For those of you who don't have context of what a thumbprint is, that's when you take your thumb and you stick it in a pile of LSD crystal and then you lick it off. This equates to getting a lot, like milligrams, multiple sheets worth of LSD. Um, no, it's not an initiation into the family. I would even be willing to say that the majority of people that go to shows and that, you know, uh, that, that identify as family have never eaten a print. You know, that it's not a thing. It, and, it, and it's not just something that you can decide to do one day. You know, uh, that, that's not how it works. If anything, eating a print or being printed is more of a sign of trust than it is an initiation into the family. Um, the experience is completely overwhelming. And, uh, you know, you have to be taken care of for sometimes weeks afterwards. Um, and, and it's really just not something that happens to a lot of people, you know, not saying it doesn't happen because it does, but it's not an initiation. It's not a fucking rite of passage into the family. It, it's a symbol of trust for the upper echelon of, uh, uh, of the, of the family structure. You know, it, it, it's, it's a blessing and it's a sign of trust, not an initiation. Anyone who fucking tries to tell you that you have to do that to be family, uh, they're full of shit. They're blowing smoke up your ass. They're talking out of the side of their neck. And the majority of people online who have claimed to do that, I would honestly take it with a grain of salt. Because the uh, majority of people who have done that are probably not even willing to talk about it. All right. And lastly... Uh, how does one become family? Well, the, the simplest answer is to go to shows, you know? If the music speaks to you and, and, and you get something out of it, then go to shows, you know? The family is all-inclusive. It doesn't... It, you don't have to be a super fucking heady hippie to fucking be Grateful Dead family, you know? You just gotta go to shows and meet people. And, you know, if your energy is good and right, then, hey, you know, you'll get taken in. And, uh, you know, as long as you're not a rapist or a child molester or, you know, stuff along that line, that's really the only disqualifying uh, factor of it. Because, again, the family is all-inclusive. The Grateful Dead's music is for anyone and everyone who sees something in it and gets something out of it. Um... And that, that's what it comes down to, in my opinion. That This is just my perspective on these questions. Again, there's so many more frequently asked questions online. Like I said, if I, if I was to write them all out and try to make a video on it, it would take hours. And I probably wouldn't, uh, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to do all the questions justice. But the ones right there that we've gone through, that's my perspective on the matter. Um... Take it with a grain of salt. Take it if you need it. Leave it if you dare. Um, again, this is Toker90704 formally coming at you. Thank you for taking your time to view this video. And I hope that everyone of you out there in YouTube land has an absolutely grateful day. Peace.